Just wanted to take a second and show you how to find some free operating systems. And Linux is uh, one of the most popular Unix operating systems. And a lot of those are free. So I just uh, went to Bing and you can go to Google or whatever it is and uh, type in uh, free Linux distributions. And uh, go to Wikipedia here. And it'll show you all of the things that are out there, and there's an awful lot of them. Uh, some of the most popular ones are CentOS here. Um, I'll just, I might skip over some. Uh, Debian. Uh, damn Small Linux, which will actually run off of a USB key, and I'm not going to teach you how to do that today. Uh, Fedora, or F-E-D-O-R-A. Uh, I've heard of Genet 2. I've never used it. Uh, this one called Copix. So the one that's G-N-O-P-I-X is probably similar to Copix. Here's Copix here. Uh, I've heard of Mint before. I've never used it. Uh, Open S-U-S-E. Uh, there's one from Novell. Uh, don't know if it's free or not. So, Open S U S E is from Novell. That's Novell's version, and that's free. Uh, I guess Oracle has one. Uh, there's Red Hat Linux, which is a, a Linux company that actually makes a version of Linux, and then they support it. And uh, I, if you were using it for your business and you wanted support, I'd recommend using Red Hat Linux. Uh, but again, you have to pay for it. Uh, there's a free version, I guess, out here as well. Um, I've heard of Slackware before. There's a SUSE again. Uh, Ubana 2, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, might not be. U B U N T U. Uh, I think I've heard of Zandros, but uh... so, anyways, there's an awful lot of things that are out there that are free, and this is a great place to find them. So, if we want to. Uh... Let's get CentOS, which is pretty much like uh, Red Hat Enterprise, but again, it's a free version of it. And uh, let's just scroll up the screen here. Uh, there it is, CentOS. And if I click on this, it'll go to the Wikipedia page. And then if I scroll down through this, I choose CentOS.org here. And that'll take me to the website, and then I can go to Downloads. And what I'd want to look for is I want to look for the, uh, this shows me the, uh, this shows me the computers that host this, and I can download it. So again, choose one that's kind of in your area, and choose one that you would trust. So let's see if there's anything here that we recognize. I'm here in the Chicagoland area. Sometimes they have these on major university uh, websites as well. And I don't really see anything, but I did go through it kind of quickly. So another thing I can do is I can probably get a CentOS and look for it at like University of Illinois or uh, University of Chicago or one of the major universities will probably have it. Um, click on the mirror list there. Okay, here we go. Uh, Indiana University. So we could probably grab it off of there. Michigan State, Michigan Tech, 
uh, some of the uh, University of Michigan. Georgia Tech, Florida University. So here in the United States, probably recommend uh, University of Chicago, which is, uh, we're in Chicago, so that's probably good. I can get that off the FTP server. So then you can click on that. Then I, I want the uh, I, ISO. Take the most current version uh, ISOs, and uh, I will uh, mm, I three eighty six, and then here's how I could download the ISO. Again, you might want to read the README file, and it'll explain um, or I can go back and grab the sixty four version. Uh, again, the ISO is relatively large. So it's a, a very large download, but you can click on this and then download it from uh, University of Chicago, if you live in the Chicagoland area. And it uh, looks like there's two DVDs. There's this one here, and then there's another DVD.